I'm good. Thanks. Hey, just wanted to ask kind of you know, your, your recap of the spring practice, uh, you know, this, you know, these past few weeks, uh, you guys are obviously wrapping up, getting ready for the spring game. You know, what has been the biggest takeaway that you've noticed from the spring practice? Um, I think just the, the energy that we've created this spring has been, I mean, it's been unmatched uh, since I've been here and we've had a lot of energy, a lot of effort. And uh, that's, that's been, you know, put into practice every day and, We've get, gotten one percent better every day, and that's just our focus. Um, that's really been my biggest takeaway: is just seeing us getting better from the start of spring to the end, and just getting one percent better each day. What are you looking forward to most heading into the spring game on Saturday? Anything in particular, or just getting a chance to play? Yeah, uh, I think what we're looking forward to the most is just showing uh, the fans, you know, what we've been working on, and and just putting the the product on the field and executing really. And then how about, you know, one, one last question for me, you know, the quarterbacks as a whole, how do you feel that you guys, you know, maybe you as, you know, you have obviously a little bit more experience than some of the other guys that are now coming in. How have you guys felt you guys have done just as a group, you know, in terms of just connecting more and obviously connecting with the receivers? Yeah, I think uh, as a group, like I said, I mean, we've pushed each other each and every day. Um, the young guys to the older guys, we've all hold each other accountable. Um, and I think that's, radiated to the receivers, right? I mean, over communicating on, you know, past concepts, signals, it doesn't matter, right? Blocking, just over communicating and just getting better at communicating and executing our, our assignments each and every day. Hey, Miles, what do you what do you think the spring game is going to maybe kind of reveal about this team? What are fans going to learn about you guys this Saturday night? I think they're just going to learn that we're continuing to get better. That's been our focus. This whole spring is just – get better each and every day, right? Um, I mean, we put we put last year in the past and we move on to this spring and it's it's a fresh start and it's just going 110% each and every day, each and every day and looking back after that day and saying, hey, did we get better or did we regress? And I think, you know, for the majority of the days, we've gotten better. What, as you guys are in this last week of spring ball, what's, what's Coach Jones' message been uh, as you guys are wrapping things up? Coach Jones' message has been the same from the beginning to the end. Just stay focused, 1% better each and every day, high energy, high passion, fly around, and make plays. That's that's all it's been. Hey, he's He's been in a, a pretty challenging spot, kind of taken over. And, you know, in, in the meantime, there's a coaching search going on. What what What's maybe impressed you about how he's handled this whole thing? I think just his focus. You, you, you see his focus and his passion uh, each and every day, right? And – the next day, you know, you, you expect, oh, you know, maybe Coach Jones is going to, you know, change his message. Maybe he's going to change his, you know, his passion, his, his attitude. No, I mean, he's consistent. He's consistent every day throughout the adversity, throughout all these challenges that we've been through. He stayed consistent. And I think that's what he wants us to, to do as a team is stay together and stay consistent on, on our mission of getting better every day. And it seems like it's very possible you guys might have a new head coach, you know, in the, in the next few days, next few weeks, something like that. What are, what are your thoughts on that change and kind of what, what's it been like as a player going through spring practices with all this going on? Um, like I said, my focus this spring has just been on getting better each day. Um, all that stuff on the outside, you know, we can't control that as a team. The, what we can control is staying together. And like I said, just focusing on getting better and better each and every day. Hey, Miles. Um, along those lines, just wanted to ask about maybe the younger guys. How, how have you seen them kind of handle stuff going out on outside the program versus stuff going on inside the program? Uh, I mean, I think I've seen the younger guys just lean on the, the, the veterans and the, and the seniors, right? I mean, the, the seniors here, the, the veterans here, the guys that have been here for five, four years have, have been through some adversity. I've been through challenges here at KU. So we've been through some things, you know, and I think it's been a it's been pretty good to, to just be able to talk to those young guys and say, hey, it's all right. Just focus on what you can control, focus on getting better each and every day, and focus on your craft. All that stuff on the outside, we can't control that. What we can control is getting better each day and, and staying together as a team. How important will it be for you guys collectively to just kind of stay together uh, if indeed and, and when a coaching change happens? And are you guys as veterans planning on talking to some of the younger guys about that? I think it's I think it's very very important. I think, um, like I said, the number one thing this whole spring has just been it's been about family, right? We're a family here. We're a team, and we're all here working towards the same goal, right? And and um, I think you know we don't want to take steps back after this spring. We want to keep going forward. 
we want to pick up where we left off from the spring, uh, obviously in fall camp. And I think to do that, we got to stay together and we got to keep going. Um, seems like spring game every year, there's a player or two that kind of comes out of nowhere, impresses everyone. If you had to guess who that'll be this year, do you have a guess at that? Um, I'd say for the wideouts, I'd say maybe one guy that might um, make some plays is, is Kyler Pearson. Um, he's quick, fast, um, makes makes great plays on the ball. Um, I think he's he's made some play, some plays and surprised some people this spring. Um, I think you guys will see a much better offensive line um, overall. Um, those guys are, are doing a great job, and they're improving each and every day. And also, I think you guys will see just better overall defense. You know, they're the throwing a lot of coverage at us a lot of looks at us, a lot of pressure. Um, so I think, you know, you'll see just an overall better football team, but um, mm -hmm. O-line and, and definitely defense for sure. Yeah. Kyler, if I'm remembering, he's a smaller guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what, I guess how has he impressed you and, and what's your, your connection throwing to him like? Oh, uh, he just impressed me on, on just, you know, how he attacks every day. You know, I mean, guys look at his size and they want to say, oh, he's not, you know, he's not big enough. He, he's not going to make an impact, but – you know, when he's gotten his opportunities, he's made the most of them. And, um, I mean, like I said, I mean, he's just been one of those guys that I've seen improve a lot from not only last season, but the start of this spring to the end. I mean, he's he's improved a lot. Thanks. Hey, a common theme we've heard from players on both sides of the ball this spring is that the coaches are really working to simplify things. Do you agree with that? And how, how are they going about doing that? How do they simplify things for the players? Yeah, I mean, the coaches just simplify things for the players by – just having simple rules and simple, simple reads and, and uh, indicators that players can follow. Right. I mean, just breaking it down for them and, and, and keeping everything, making the reads easy, making their IDs easy and just allowing, you know, everybody to play fast. Right. I mean, when you're thinking too much, you're not going to, you're not going to play full speed. So just making sure that we know where our assignments and, you know, we, we get there quick. Is that something that's reflected more in, in fundamentals and rules or just a playbook type of thing? I think it's both. I think it, it's fundamentals and also to playbook as well. I think like coach Jones said, I mean, it's, it's simple, but it's still sophisticated, you know, just because it's, we simplify some things and, and, and we coach it and we break it down a little bit more. doesn't mean that it's not, it's, it's dumbed down or it's not sophisticated. It, it's, it's, it's simple, but sophisticated at the same time. Excuse me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, Miles, uh, Earl Bostick's kind of settling in at left tackle. What have you seen from him this spring? Uh, from Earl, I've, I mean, I've seen a lot of good things from Earl. I mean, he's he's attacking every day. He's His feet are very, very quick. And, I mean, in the weight room, he's he's one of the strongest big guys that we have. So, I think he's just – he's brought it this spring. You know, I think he's coming into his own. And he, he's starting to step into that left tackle role and really attack it. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hey, Miles, how would you describe the, the current status of the quarterback competition heading into this last week? Uh, I mean, the status is, is the same, right? I mean, the, the biggest thing and the biggest goal for us is get each other better, push each other each and every day, and let's continue to grow. Let's continue to get better, and let's just push the whole room. Let's all elevate everybody in the room and um, just compete with each other each and every day, right? From the seniors all the way down to the freshmen, let's hold each other accountable, compete, and just get better. Do, do you feel like there's been any separation uh, in the competition? Uh, like I said, I mean, I, I don't really think we're really worried about, you know, separating from one guy or the other. I think we're worried about just getting better from yesterday's practice and uh, putting the product on the field and finishing strong this, this Saturday. So, I mean, it seems like it will probably be, you know, August preseason camp before anything's decided with the quarterback job. Um, just how, how do you think, maybe the, the next few months will play out with uh, the competition kind of still, uh, still a ways out. Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. Like I said, I think the, the focus is just continue to hold each other accountable and push each other each and every day. I think this summer is going to be a, a big for the quarterbacks as far as just leading off the field and um, leading in the weight room and, and leading in those player led practices. And then if, if there's a, a new staff brought in after the spring is, is wrapped up, what, what types of challenges do you think that presents to the players? Um, I mean, there's always challenges, you know, new staff or, or the same staff. At the end of the day, you still got to prove yourself. You still got to work hard. And, you know, you still got to be a part of the team and part of the family. 
um, none of that changes with the coaches that are here now or the coaches that if we get a new set, it doesn't matter. Um, the family remains the same and the goal remains the same. And that's just get better each and every day.